All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. Today is an odd day. It is also National Peanut Butter Lovers Day and the first day of Women's History Month. The word of the day is stultified. It means to make something become dull. He used to enjoy his favorite TV show, but the addition of a narrator stultified the show. Beauty and the Beast cast members, remember that practices are today and tomorrow. The International Relief Club will be meeting after school on Thursday. The Lego Robotics Club will be meeting after school on Friday. This Thursday, DCS will host a college fair at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Several colleges will have representatives here that you can talk to about admission requirements, degree programs, and more. Don't forget to order your Pi Day shirt from Ms. Nunez in room 1127. The shirt is $20. Auditions for the Women's History Month talent show will be this Friday after school in room 1129. If you have any questions, please contact Brianna Lewis, Destiny Germain, or Mr. Gonzalez. Join us for a Hawks Family Night at Pizza Fiore, Miami Shores, on Tuesday, March 7th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Please mention DCS as a percentage of your purchase will be donated to the DCS PTSA. Good morning, DCS. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm sitting here on the first day of Women's History Month and not the ladies on my team. For the past 25 years or so, I've heard countless students, and grown men even, say the same thing. Why do we have Women's History Month, not Men's History Month? Part of our job as teachers is to make sure that you know better than the previous generation did, and that you do better than they did. For centuries, men, not all men, I know, not all men, I get it, but too many men try to hold them back, to erase their achievements from history, to kind of downplay their role in society. Those of you who've been in my class the last couple of years have learned about Hedy Lamarr, or Admiral Grace Hopper, or the women who programmed the ENIAC. These women were pioneers of computer science, yet their names and accomplishments were kind of lost to history for 50, 60, 70 years. There are still people in our society who want to keep men in charge only. Look at our government. They've been around for what, almost 250 years? Not a single female president. And only one female vice president. A hundred years ago, some men tried to tell them they should not go to college at all. Because, and ladies, do not roll your eyes, you might hurt yourself, okay? Prepare yourself. They claimed women were too physically weak to handle the stress of higher education. So that they can literally give birth to children, but a college class? Oh, that's too much for you to handle. Please. Last week, I saw a minister on Twitter, a minister, argue that girls should not go to college nowadays. You want to guess why? Because it doesn't prepare them to be wise and mothers. I'm sorry? Yeah, that's what he said. There's some anger back here if you can't hear it. There's some rage. But the system's down. Thank you. See, men and I can believe that women should always serve men because men are the head of the household. So why do we have Women's History Month, not Men's History Month? Because there's no need to talk about what men have done throughout history. We do it every single day. As you should. As you should. As you should. I'll sit in my head. It's getting intense in here right now. Get out of the pitch. <laughs> it's getting intense in here right now. 
Because we need to make sure that men of the future understand how much women have given to society and how poorly they've been treated and continue to be treated around the world. There are countries where you show your hair, you get arrested and beaten as you're a woman. So this month, Women on my team, we're bringing stories and facts about women throughout history. Some, yes, will be positive, uplifting, you know, girl power. Others will highlight the inequalities women have been facing and still do. Some will be serious stories. Some you don't want to Google because you're not going to believe it. But I promise you, they're all true. So, gentlemen, as the next generation of men, I encourage you to pay attention each day and think about how you can know better and be better than previous generations. Amen. Congratulations to the February Students of the Month. In math, Zachary Lindo and Haley St. Hilaire. In English language arts, Avril Suarez and Sanati Wolde. In social studies, Alanea Erbaum and Jordan Joseph. In PE, Ashanti Perez and Catherine Figueroa. In science, Brian Nassayi and Christian Ricordi. In Spanish, Zotaro Lindo and Kels Renaud. In computer science and technology, Alfaina Pierre and Malik Soto. And in art, Russell Jade and Christopher Rugadama. And now for our next edition fact of the day. We learned a lot of history in school, but did you know that our estimate of non Hispanic most of human history has been lost? Modern humans appeared about 200,000 years ago, but the older people record only did that around 6,000 years ago. And now, today's feel good news story. Earlier this month, a family in Ireland spotted a baby loggerhead turtle on the beach. Its body was battered, it was severely dehydrated, and was suffering from hypothermia. Loggerhead turtles are not found in that part of the world. They're found along the southern U.S. coastline between Florida and the Carolinas. That meant this baby turtle had spent months in the cold Atlantic Ocean, probably swept to sea by a storm. As a reptile, the turtle was stunned by the cold water and simply didn't have the strength to swim back home. The family called a marine animal rescue who came to try to save the turtle. At that age, loggerheads usually weighed between 45 and 90 pounds. This baby turtle weighed about one pound. Thankfully, the rescue has been able to help her gain some weight, and they're confident that she will make a full recovery. Thank you for seeing Hawks out on Epic Day, and we'll see you tomorrow. And and I